Hello to you and welcome to Adelante Chicago. I'm Lourdes Duarte. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bienvenidos. Well, she's an international favorite. The work of Mexican artist Frida Kahlo has been a source of pride for decades. Now a new exhibit will be in the Chicago area and joining us now to tell us a little bit more about it is Diana Martinez. She's the executive director of Frida Kahlo Timeless and the Mackinish Art Center. Hello to you. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay, this is a, an exciting conversation because she is such a favorite for so many people. Uh, what can they expect to see as part of this exhibit? Well, it's it's sort of a immersive exhibit. It, you will get to see, of course, her 26 pieces of art, uh, 26 original Frida Kahlo's that have not been here since uh, for 40 years. We have recreations of her dresses. There's a historic timeline, a children's area, and a garden. So um, this is what you're seeing now, a reproduction of her Casa Azul, and that's, and it goes throughout um, the period of her life to try to give everyone context um, to her life so that when you go in and you see the original artwork, it, it really helps you to understand and relate to the art in a deeper way. Yeah, and she's uh, an artist that you definitely have to get to understand and know about the work that she's doing because she's such an I icon in the Mexican culture and I think Latin America in general, internationally, really. Um, I want to talk about the last year for you guys because you were here. It's funny, you were telling me you that you were here when I was expecting my little one and now it's been two years and you guys actually had to delay that exhibit so tell me what that was like over the over the last year having to delay it and put it off and now trying to bring it back well you know um when when the pandemic hit i think much like everybody else i thought it was going to be a week or two weeks that we were home i never dreamt we were going to be home for a year and um then as things continued i realized that this is a problem and I contacted the Almeda Museum in Mexico. And of course, you know, it was a worldwide pandemic. We're all in the same boat. But what's interesting is never did it cross my mind um, that we're not going to do it. It was just, when are we going to do it? So we were supposed to open last summer. And then um, I asked, you know, can we can we slide it? Can we? And we had to work with um, Amsterdam, who was going to have the art after us. And we all worked together to move it forward so that we can all bring um, have the art when we need it, and we're, we're thrilled. We're thrilled. This is a, a lifetime opportunity to have the art of this caliber. Um, they are national treasures in Mexico, and and you know now that the country's opening up, I keep thinking about Frida being at home, confined to her bed for so many years of her life, mm -hmm. recovering, and how she suffered. And every time I would I would feel sorry for myself, like, this is so difficult. <laughs> I would think about her, and I'd be like, put this all in perspective, yeah, right? You had the exhibit to think about, too. You know, I think it's important that you mentioned a little bit about Frida Kahlo. I know, obviously, I know a lot about her. My friends do, my family. But for folks that maybe don't understand what Frida Kahlo represents in Mexico and around the world, explain it to folks. Who is she? What, what should they know about her? So... Uh, Frida is arguably the most famous female artist in the world. Um, she is of Mexican descent, defined who she was, um, and, and she took great pride in her Mexicanidad. And after, after the war, um, she, she was able to go to high school, and that was a result of the war. And so she... She was a very bright young woman. She wanted to be a doctor. And she was in a terrible bus accident that um, that absolutely crippled her. Um, it, it, it completely destroyed her spine, crushed her leg, and she was impaled from the hip into her pelvis and through with a metal rod. And um, she never ever truly recovered correctly from that. And her entire life, um, she wore corsets and braces and, and tried to recover. While she was convalescing, her mother had a um, easel made for her that she could paint from in bed to sort of distract her while she was in bed for months um, in a full body cast. And you have to remember, this is 1925. Yeah. So the medicine's very different. And um, 
she she started painting and they put a mirror under her bed so oh, that she could see herself. Yeah, such and a... She, she said, I paint self-portraits because I'm so often alone. I'm the subject I know best. Yeah. And she's known for self-portraits, but her self-portraits were revolutionary. Um, it, it, she changed the style of painting, the European style of, of portrait with the dark backgrounds. Um, and, and she used the Mexican color palette. And she painted real people, not just rich people. And she painted herself in her most vulnerable moments. So she's the people's artist. She's a champion. She overcame great adversity. She's a fashionista. She is, she's, she's so many things. And I think that's why so yeah. many people love her. A lot of everything, a lot of everything. Uh, one of the coolest things about this is that you guys are going to be doing something at the Merchandise Mart. They've got those uh, light displays that come out at night. Um, and the Frida Kahlo exhibit is going to be a part of that. Explain real, real briefly what that's all about and how people can take advantage. July 6th, we are going to air and release our video and tribute to Frida. It's designed by George Berlin, a digital artist. And it's in honor of her birthday and Frida being in, in the Chicago area for everyone to enjoy. It's free. It's every night at 9.30 and 10 o'clock. And it's a huge projection, um, an animated right. projection of Frida. July and it's free for everyone to celebrate with everyone. July 6th. In the meantime, if people want to see the exhibit, they can go to Frida2021.org to find out about tickets and times and all that good stuff. We wish you well. And I know it's going to be a really great show. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right.